Food webs are complex, so it's often difficult to predict exactly how they will respond to any kind of environmental change. Ecologists use these models to, answer, to ask questions about changes in feeding relationships following a disturbance. Here we see detritus, bacteria, and associated fungi. What if, a, what if an oil spill caused a serious decline in the number of the bacteria and fungi that break down detritus? Well, nutrients would be recycled more slowly, and the organisms that consume these organisms would have less food. What effect do you think that this might have on populations of shrimp? Well, let's find the shrimp population. There we go. Grass, shrimp, and worms. The shrimp population would decline because their food source would be diminished. So if they don't have their food, the shrimp population would decline. And then what would happen from that? Well, the killfish wouldn't have their food supply as be as plentiful, nor the largemouth bass, nor the crayfish. One disturbance low, especially a disturbance low on the food chain can have, or a food web, can have a major effect on the entire ecosystem. How, so we see that killerfish and crayfish are, would also decline because of food, and then that might affect uh, the organisms higher up, or they may have to shift to different food sources or they may have to emigrate to another environment. All of these effects came about from the change in population of a single part of the food web, the detritus bacteria and associated fungi, and that effect came about from a simple single oil spill.